Pam Stewart here from Maximo TV at the Pacific Design Center for the premiere of the very powerful story, American Violet. The movie is based solely on some experiences that I went through in my town. Um, so I did have a lot to do with it um, as far as being a consultant on it. How proud are your kids? They are very proud. I mean, they get to get on the internet and brag to their friends. Like, my mama got a movie made about her. So, I mean, they're excited. We're all excited. What do you think about the actress portraying you? She's, it's a striking resemblance. It, everyone says that they think we look a lot alike. And I couldn't have asked for anybody else to play for my part, you know, in this film because she did an amazing job. Nicole, I feel like she's the best. She did a great job. And of course, Alfie Woodard, that's pretty amazing. Oh, yeah. And what's so amazing with her is she is just like my mom. I mean, she played my mom so much in the film. She's exactly like her in real life. Well, it was based on a story that we heard on NPR originally about six years ago. And, uh, you know, we heard the original story of what happened to Regina Kelly with a mixture of uh, uh, admiration and outrage, really. What had happened to her was just so infuriating. And then, then how she responded uh, was so heroic and amazing. And we just thought this is an important story to tell. You were debating between documentary and actually feature. What made you to go with feature? Well, I think features um, are work based on how strong the characters are. And I thought this, this character in particular and the surrounding characters, not just her, her family, her mother, played by Alfre Woodard, the Will Patton character in the movie, were just so compelling that we could, we could address the issues in a more powerful way by telling it as a feature, narrative feature story. How do you feel tonight? It must be amazing. This is all very new to me, <laughs> so I'm kind of excited and I love the project. I'm excited about it, so um, I don't know, I've got jitters and I welcome everyone and hope that they enjoy it. So you're fresh out of Juilliard, your second movie, how did you get involved with this picture? You know, basically like the regular audition and just like, I was so moved by the picture that I, by the script, that I just knew I wanted to have a part of it and I, you know basically like work to get in there <laughs> you know and I it, it I guess it worked out and it's a tremendous cast how was working with Alfie as your mom um it was a gift it was inspiring it was intimidating it was all those things I'm just I mean not just Alfie um Anthony Mackie Michael O'Keefe Will Patton Tim Blake Nelson you know exhibit all those people were so generous they were there for me and they know how to do this so I was sort of learning by watching them. Were you ever just emotionally exhausted? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to say that. Sometimes, you know, but it's part of the job and it's a, an exhaustion that is welcomed, that I sort of love. It's strange, but it works out for me. And did you form a close bond with Regina? We've gotten close. I mean, on set, I didn't want to get too close because, you know, it might start to color things. You want to be objective, but um, yeah. What was the biggest lesson that you, you've taken away from this film? The working behind the scenes or the actual like moral or the... That we can actually affect change, one person can actually do it, you know? And imagine what can happen when a whole bunch of people get together. I play Claudia Jordan, and you know this story is based off of a true story. So um, she was a woman who unfortunately played a part in Regina Kelly actually being added to the list of getting um, arrested. So um, that's my role, I'm the, I'm the antagonist, I'm the bad guy in the film. With this big beautiful smile, I can't picture you being bad. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. 
I believe that the drug task force gone berserk is a very important story that most of the American public does not know about and everybody is success susceptible to. So this was a good script and, and, uh, and I wanted to be in it.